between Tyron Woodley and Colby Covington. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than this, Joe Rogan, the UFC welterweight championship of the world as the champion makes his way to the octagon, fighting out of that patented red corner. He has held this belt down for some time, but a lot of people think we could be looking at a new champion here tonight. The current champion, not one of them. He believes the hype is not real for the challenger. He believes he is much better than this young man, and now healthy, he is ready to prove that he's not just the best welterweight in the world at present, he is the greatest welterweight of all time, winning this fight tonight against a significant challenger would certainly go a long way to proving just that. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Woodley is six years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event and when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler with a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, USA, presenting the challenger, Kobe Chaos Covington. And now, introducing the champion, this man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 19 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Tyler, the chosen. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Just make I am fight. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go fight. down right Ready. now. Good. All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. God, look at that down, man. Woodley gets back up. Oh, he missed that kick. Nicely done here in the early going with the takedown. Wow. Back up to the feet. Yeah, here he goes again. Beautiful counter to the takedown here and an excellent throw. Good punch. Trying to spin to the back. He's working from his back now. Excellent.
excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Back to the feet now. Huge uppercut misses. Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh, the fence oh, is shaking after that slam, Joe. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Nice, very nicely done. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Woodley getting worked here from the top. Grounded pound strikes raining down. Clean punch. He's got the back and secures both hooks. Back up again. Here's a shot deep. Going for the takedown here again, Joe. And he gets it. Oh, he caught him with that right hand. Back up to his feet again. Lands a giant kick. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Credit to Kimura, he drops down for it. This could be it, it's getting tighter. And he gets out, I thought he was gonna have to tap, wow. Full guard here. And he winds up on top. He's looking to take the back. And he gets reversed. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Elbow from the top now by Woodley. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Now he's in full guard. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Second round underway. Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound, and it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight, and that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next, and ultimately the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. And here we see it again. I mean, just stiff. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us out for this contest at 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the man they are all still chasing at 170 pounds. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion remains as...